Hello everyone, this is Tomai from Vista Schools Aviations. After the basic math video, I received more questions about third class uh, medical certification. And uh, I want to share with you about how high blood pressure and heart disease can affect your third class medical certification. Hypertension is a common condition. Previously, it was defined as blood pressure greater than 140 over 90. And then in 2017, American Heart Association published a new guideline for hypertension. And it is now defined as a blood pressure greater than 130 over 80. Uh, there will be a lot more pilots as will have hypertension by this new definition. Be aware that uh, blood pressure is variable and its reading can occasionally uh, above the normal range. Uh, if you did not have hypertension and found to have a high blood pressure during the FAA exam, only if your blood pressure reading uh, consistently higher than 155 over 95 then further investigation will be required and usually you will be uh, uh, you will need to check your blood pressure uh, and lock it a few times a day uh, for a few days if you have high blood pressure please check it before you go to see an AME for the exam uh, and it's easy to understand why we are concerning uh, about pilot having high blood pressure but fortunately hypertension is not difficult to treat whenever you go to the emergency room for chest pain the ER doctor most likely presume that you have a cardiac related chest pain until it can be ruled out Please be sure to ask your doctor what the final diagnosis is if you visit the ER for a chest pain. Angina pectoris is a term referred to ischemic chest pain resulting from insufficient cardiac perfusion. It then can be classified to stable or unstable, but both of them do require further workup and you are disqualifying until the status of the uh, coronary artery is fully evaluated. Your AME will likely consult with FAA or the regional flight surgeon. Myocardial infarction or heart attack is the end result of atherosclerosis within the walls of the uh, coronary arteries that supply the muscle of the heart. At this time, there will be some damage to your heart muscle. It is the most common cause of sudden death. Uh, so whether or not you have intervention to your coronary artery, either uh, cardiac stent or bypass surgery or not, uh, it is best to talk to your AME to guide you through the process of obtaining the waivers. Uh, coronary artery is very common. However, only probably 0.1% of uh, medical applications uh, to the uh, FAA receive a final denial. I hope this video will provide you some useful information. Fly safe and I will see you in the next video.